I'll say it right now, I don't like this trend that Deepoken seems to be following. Deepoken is my favorite as an entire game and it's solid, but something they're doing is a little bit questionable. What's up guys, it's Punchy and today I'll be sharing my hesitation about some high requirement attunement talents and how some of them are very very boring. Okay, so we all know the high requirement attribute talents are awesome, like Collapsed Lung, which prevents venting off guard breaks and that's 100 strength. 100 points in both Fortitude and Willpower gives Brick Wall, which negates knock back and cuts knockdown right in half, and it does have a place in certain builds. Despite being expensive, these single talents can change your entire build, and each player knows that. For example, Collapse Lung makes any combo true, and if you take advantage of that, you can almost one-shot players. Even Brick Wall lets PvP builds push through and apply pressure when they normally should not be able to. These talents are undeniably game-changing, and your playstyle will change. But if we take a look at the highest requirements element cards, they're very boring and very expensive for builds to use. First off, there are only three things in Deep Oaken history that ever required 100 in any element, so let's talk about that. One of the two talents that required 100 full points into your attunement is the new Iron Sink passive, Alloy Blood, and this talent is viable and performs well in any situation, but does it really change how you play the game? The talent says this, you don't bleed like others do, bleed damage is halved and blood loss is reduced by 75%. So that being said, everything about this talent reduces damage taken and it's all passive. The only thing that changes about how you play the game is that you're absorbing more hits. Compared to Brick Wall and Collapsed Lung, which are both technically passive talents, this is so boring. Yes, it is good and the upsides are noticeable, but the difference between gameplay with and without the talent is very small. You're just tankier and both players still play exactly the same. Next up, we have Unyielding Frost, the newest 100 Frost Draw advanced talent. So this one allows your chill effects on mantras to hit through the block with 50% duration. This upside is pretty strong, allowing for more freezing capability, anti-heal and slow down, but it's something that does not change how both players fight. Well, for starters, nobody really wants to block an attack. They want to parry or dodge in order to avoid damage and get the advantage over their enemy. Blocking, that's what you do if you have no choice. Sure, if you block ice mantras, you'll slow down and lose healing, but you don't really take damage from this and you don't really play any differently. The same can be said about the player using Unyielding Frost. They aren't fishing for guard breaks like you would with Collapsed Lung. They just attack and get their mantras blocked. It's good, but it's boring. Now, the last thing that required 100 of one attunement was the Lightning Cloak Mantra. That's weird to hear, but yeah, it used to be 100 Thunder Call. Regardless, this was a great example of dynamic gameplay that changed entirely when you activated a single mantra. No longer were you slow and sluggish, but you could slide around and approach using your enhanced cloak speed. It's no longer 100 Thunder Call, but this is what I want to see if I'm investing 100 points. It's got to be exciting, and I know they can do it since they've done it before. What do you guys think about these talents? Sure, they're good, but they could be fun and game changing. I want to see what they do in the future, but I hope this trend ends. That's all for now, and make sure to like and subscribe. Thanks, it's punching time.